What's going on, everybody? Doc and Sloth, we're back, and we're playing some Rocket League. Sloth, how are we doing? Uh, we're we're going to figure it out. Uh, we're <laughs> It's going to look a little strange um, right now, because we're actually under some different gamer tags. It's going to look a little weird. Um, so I wanted to be very conscious of being blown up. Um, but things like smurfing and and uh, and all that stuff, like deranking and all that, that happens in in Rocket League. But uh, we were really curious about the ranked scene uh, as far as how the ranking system actually works, because there's a lot of a lot of frustration in the community that certain things about it do not, and. Um, we have not actually been able to play doubles together. Uh, actually, rank doubles in quite some time. Um, I've been grinding, trying to, uh, to to rank up myself and and all that. So it's been a little difficult for us to play together. And this is kind of a good way for us to be able to do so. Um, so I I hope that um, it's it's not kind of perceived as too big of an issue as far as us kind of creating some other accounts. But I just want to be able to play with my buddy, and I think we're probably going to settle somewhere in golds, I would imagine. Uh, just kind of splitting the difference on some stuff, so I, I don't think it'll cause too much of a concern, honestly. But uh, something, you know, I did want to keep aware of. I'm calling this a social experiment. I was really... Um, my whole thing is, yeah, I'm very cognizant of the smurfing thing. We're going to... You'll probably see in these games, we'll, we'll get a little lead here. And then we'll try not to make these guys feel really bad about it. Um, but no intention to not uh, to not try to get up as quickly as you can. But for me, the social experiment aspect of it, I really want to see how this game plays with a completely fresh MMR and how and just kind of how that goes. I'm curious to see how quickly we get into higher level play. I'm curious to see once we settle our matches of how things will fold out and like like slothy bear uh who is now d-rock uh said i it, it is nice that we can finally play because i am not nearly the level he is i'm working on it but uh the fact that we can come over here and and play i i really did like this two series um i think twos is probably the most fun that i have uh as far as the competition side, if it goes, although I don't mind threes, I'm it's warming to me, sloth. I'm <laughs> not, uh... Yeah, threes threes are definitely my game. So that's uh, it's it's kind of some some growth for me to to keep playing twos and stuff. But uh, the the other side of that, like the whole like smurfing thing, is we're not good. So like. <laughs> Oh my god! I'm sorry I didn't take all that boost. Um, I don't. I don't think it's going to be too big of an issue because we're we're just not good. Like, uh, you have your moments. I have less of those moments. That isn't one. This is a shot that <laughs> a less skilled player I be able to make here as I jump barely jump over this ball. Pop it in. That's probably enough of a lead. But again, we, we really did want to try this, and we should... I'm, I'm hoping we'll settle quickly. Um, hoping that the game will be able to recognize. Uh, and I am also curious to see what our win streaks will do. We should be able to, hopefully, unless we play, like, really big poopy garbage, uh, we should really be able to kind of see kind of what a win streak will do for us. I wasn't sure if that was a pass. Or... No, I was just kind of killing a little bit of time. I, I don't particularly want to score. I'd prefer them to kind of forfeit, but... I'm just going to play some goalie here. The other nice thing about this series, is, as we're doing this, that I'm realizing, at least for these first few episodes, is the fact that uh, we'll be able to chat a little bit. Because the rank for this really doesn't matter. Uh, the ranks yeah. before, they mattered a little bit. Mine, not nearly as much as Mr. Cloth here. Um, 
Yeah, and so I've I've been making my push. Um, threes is definitely my game. I've been making my push for champ. Um, I am currently. I think I've been as high as diamond three. And uh, with with the baby around, I, I think I've been a little distracted. I've dropped down to diamond two. Um, so I, I think in in doubles now, I'm I'm up to diamond one in dubs. Um, so that you, I, I mean that's kind of where the the frustration and where the um, being really picky with my uh, with my ranked play comes into play. What a save! But yeah, I don't I don't think these will take near as much uh, focus, and we can kind of mess around. Yeah, I'm gonna use this to work on some skills. Got to get, got to get better at certain things. Routine passing. Dribble. Okay, I can't. I can't resist to be able to. Play. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh gosh, yeah. The uh, the July fourth update or July fifth, I guess. Update came out. Um, I'm sorry. It's been out for a little you. while. That's still such a bad PR move. But keep going. I apologize. I have to say that. <laughs> they should have had to come out on the third. Yeah, That's probably. Uh, but, you know, it's it's been out for a little while, and we've kind of gotten to see the, the items that were in them. And uh, it's been interesting to to play some of that and to see some of these items from the crates come out. Um, on... On my main account, I'll uh, I'll end up having it. I, I've switched over to the Animus. Um, in my opinion, the best thing about the those new crates is is the Animus. Mm -hmm. um, the F1 car looks super great. Uses the hitbox of the Breakout. Um, and I, when I first picked up this game, I used the Breakout and the Breakout S for a very long time. Uh, I actually had. I was just checking it out the other day. I have a certified Breakout S uh, that keeps track of centers that I had for a long time. I had 6,000 centers on that thing. That's how long I used the Breakout S. Um, so uh, I found myself to be pretty comfortable with it. And I think that that helps with, uh, yikes, taking stuff away from my teammate. Um, that helps with kind of my, my attempt to rank up and, and all that stuff is getting back to a, a vehicle that I'm a little bit more familiar with. Cause that's, I mean, that's how I learned Ariel was was on the Breakout S. The funny but thing, the other cool things were were the goal explosions. Yeah, the funny thing I was gonna say about the centers is, yeah, that is a lot, especially for you. You don't really put the ball in the center. You're either scoring it or it's just gonna <laughs> miss. So, <laughs> sorry. That's gotta, fair. That's gotta, that's that's really accurate. I gotta get my digs in when I can. Try and get this boost. I think my son is is making a lot of noise in the background, but that was a great shot. Thank you. See, the, and this is why I wanted to do this. I get the opportunity to work on things like this, and uh, there's really no pressure. Now there wouldn't have been much pressure if I would have missed that, but get a little bit, uh, get a little bit more freedom, be able to do things like that. Now, when we do settle which hopefully will be pretty quickly after our 10 placement matches. I do think somewhere in the golds is probably fair. Um, I think yeah. I am, I think I'm low gold on, uh, on the doubles on my main. So, or maybe I might be in high silvers. I can't remember. I just don't have, I actually do finally have someone fun to play with. Quite good. Oh, that's, that's and, and that's the thing with this with this game is finding yourself a partner that you can play with if it's comparable skill levels that makes it even better but somebody you just play well with and you have good synergy with makes this game so much more fun which again a lot of aspects of wanting to do this this series because um, I, I do I you know we recognize and lots of playing the game a lot longer than I have, but I do recognize, um, you know, it's it's hard even for me to remember back in the days when I started playing um, kind of what the trials and tribulations of this were. 
and trying to get into the rank scene and then coming in again if this is the if you're coming into this now you know you're, you're not alone as far as some of the heartache um for some of the ranks i still have the, i'm gonna be honest i still have the problem in trying to do solo standard i just it's so hit or miss you know so really yeah and that's that's a game to, or a, a playlist that i feel like never really settles out as far as that goes that's that one's just sort of random um but and and i'm the same way so when when i first got this game i played the season mode where you play against bots for a long time uh before i you know even dared go online because i i had seen some videos of some people who were actually good at the game um play and and i knew i couldn't keep up with that so i decided to to go ahead and to to play some of that season mode to get that going and i think when when i first actually jumped in it was the very end of season three i think it was the very end of season three or season two i can't remember which um but i literally played my 10 placement matches and that was it so i kind of went through oh gosh i am just a boost stealer yeah you took that um, right under my nose <laughs> um i kind of went through sorting on on a, a couple different seasons just because i i didn't get through much of that very first season i can't i think it was season two because season three lasted forever um and it's even though i was i'd gone through two of them i don't really remember a ton like you were saying um a bunch of the issues just because you're growing with the game, you know? Right. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's interesting. And no skill reset, I think, was the, oh no. Oh no. I really thought it was going to hit it into me. We're good. Um,. No skill reset for this season is the other thing that a lot of people, you know, there's some people, and I, I, I understand why now, um, that enjoyed a skill reset. It kind of took a little bit of the pressure off, maybe, um, and kind of let you, you know, refocus in. And for me, it would have been extremely helpful in certain ranks, maybe not in doubles or in threes, uh, but solo standard would have been nice for me to get a, a rank reset, I think. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of interesting now. What I what also interests me is if uh, in the near future they'll do it where they almost maybe give you the option. I know that would be hard. That would send some things out of whack for a little bit. Um, or you know I know in the past sloth you can talk on this probably a little bit better than I can. But um, where in the past they've done kind of like a soft reset where they uh, they kind of keep some of your MMR and keep some of those factors, but then let, let you still play some placement matches. Um, I don't know. I think that might be the way to go in the future. Uh, get people leveled out. Yeah. And, and I, I think if they had done it better between season three and four, yeah, season three and four, um, if they had done it better between season three and four, it would be, kind of a more accepted option and it would be a better option um, because in the beginning of season four they said we're going to do a soft reset um, your your MMR from the last season will be kind of in the in play but uh, we're going to still have you do the 10 placement matches and you know you'll get used to all that stuff well it took so it almost took the entire length of the season for the ranks to settle out right and that's, I think, why they decided not to go with uh, any sort of reset at all in this season. And it's that's a little frustrating, because I feel like we need a, a resetting of the ranks, because that's the whole point of a new season. Right. Um, you know, basically what we got as far as, like, what separated these last two seasons, the season we're in and the previous season, was the fact that we got rewards. I mean, that was it. Other than that, it was a standard update. It was just a normal, 
update where we got a new crate and a new field. And the same lag issues. Oh my gosh. That was a heck of a save, my man. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna be honest, that was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, that's that's an entirely different conversation and a whole different other set of issues, the, the connection stuff, but... Um, that was really the big difference in in these in those those seasons, and I mean that's just not really enough. So I think they do need to do a soft reset, but they need to figure it out and do it better than they did before. Yeah. I also because I think what the problem was is they they brought in the new ranks and yeah. the soft reset. I think is probably the, the the reason. That makes sense. Yeah. The other thing too is uh, it'll be interesting to see. Um, you know, a lot of people complained that complain might not be the brought up issues with uh, really the ranks from last season and how all that was calculated and the percentages for them and um, you know, so I, I think that'll be interesting to see. Maybe they needed kind of an extension, you know, a two season worth of data uh, to really figure out if their percentages are good. Um, but I don't know, uh, and we've talked about it, you know, uh, you know, just while playing casually, but, uh, it seems for me, my take on it is some of the, some of the ranks are too, uh, especially for champs, there's not enough of the population. And when you do that, I think it makes it so that the other ranks, uh, get a little bit of out of whack as well, where people should be a little bit higher than they are. Uh, but end up being maybe a little bit lower because there's too much in certain ranks. Um, and I can understand, you know, like, uh, you know, champion being a certain, you know, high percentage. Um, I'm, I'm fine with that, but I guess it's trying to figure out the balances for the rest of the ranks in between all those. Gosh, I am yeah, it... hit the ball. It's okay. I never give you a chance to I'm a ball hug. Um, the uh, the idea of saying, you know, how we want X amount of the community in this rank and X amount of the community in that rank. It's it's not a bad idea, yeah. um, but I feel like right now it's just applicable to champ and to grand champ. Mm -hmm. So you know what we end up having is a bottleneck at diamond. Especially the high diamonds. Um, so, I've I've been playing, and I will have a six-game win streak. And I'm playing people of my rank, and I'm getting, say, five, six, seven MMR per game. I lose one game after a six-game winning streak. I lose one game, and all of a sudden, I'm losing 20 MMR. And it's, it's really this this idea of you need to have three, four, five wins to make up for one loss because we have enough people in champ already. So you have to like really, really prove that you should be part of that X percent. Right. Which and that that can get a little frustrating. Oh, absolutely. Because what's the incentive to keep playing? What's the incentive to try to go up higher? I mean, to a certain amount you gotta give some people a little bit of wiggle room. You're, you, and in no span of time are you going to be able to do anything except play ranked games to try to actually get better. Um, I mean, you can say you can do all the training you want, and that's true, but to a certain extent, you're going to need to play ranked games. So making it so that you essentially can't lose a game, um, that's, that's the problem I have. Yeah, and especially with on the Xbox version... In the past week, I have lost three games due to the game crashing. Oh. And when I get back into the into Rocket League, I cannot rejoin the, the ranked match that I oh, I'm out of boost uh, that I I got kicked out of. And two of those times were when the game crashed upon getting into a match. And then the other one was after a goal. We scored a goal and went up 2-0 with like four minutes left to go in the game, and my game just crashed. And we couldn't get back in. And it's it's pretty hard to win a two-on-three. You? 
So, I, I mean, that's that is like a dagger mm-hmm. to to play so many games, to play well, to to work really hard, and then to have the game crash and punish you for it. And then you get a fifteen minute ban on top of that, and then you're then you're cold. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. I'm gonna. So, I'm gonna, that's. I'm gonna that's, say that's, I missed that shot on purpose, guys. All right, three for three. All right. I got also... seven centered balls. Who doesn't? Who doesn't center? <laughs> yeah, seven. <laughs> yeah. Well done. All right, I think that will wrap it for this one again. Social experiment. We're having some fun. We'll keep doing this. We're not going to play this account, these accounts at all, at least doubles wise, off, uh, off of this. We really just again want to show you uh, kind of what the struggle is from the ground up, and uh, we'll kind of keep going and report back. I am really curious to see, although I don't know if we'll be able to, but it'd be pretty cool to be able to win ten games in a row and see where we get placed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we'll be able to do it though. Uh, it'll it'll be close, but I have a doc that's been sloth. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Continue to tune in for this series. We're gonna have a lot of fun doing it, uh, and we'll be posting it pretty regularly. Uh, so stick around. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.